Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about the Hike Vision in VR or DVR and the message with the abnormal hard drive. So here I have the solution for you. The first thing that you have to check is the hard drive. And then you can also check something here on the menu that I'm gonna show you on, on the screen, right, that I have here. But first let's talk about the hard drive itself, okay? So here I have the Seagate Skyhawk Lite. That's a good hard drive for your security system. So don't use hard drives for PCs. They're different, okay? A hard drive like this one is for record all the time, okay? 24, 7, 30 days, all year long, okay? So you need to have a good hard drive. So make sure you get the correct one. I will leave the link here in the description so you can get the correct one. And as soon as you have the hard drive connected here, you also need to connect to check the cables. So check your SATA cable, check your power cable to make sure it's well connected here and you're good to go, okay? So let's talk now about the menu. If I come here to the menu, I can see the hard drive. And the first thing that you have to do is to format your hard drive, okay? So you just need to check here. As you see here, you can see the status, the capacity, the hard drive, everything else, the free space that you have. But if you're having issues, you can format your hard drive. Here on uh, High Vision EVR, you see the menu as initialize, okay? When you click here, it asks if you want to initialize your hard drive so you can lose all the data. You just hit here to continue and you see the initializing here, it's formatting the hard drive. It goes from 1% to 100% pretty fast, as you can see. Okay, now it's, it's done, it's formatted already and have the status as normal, but it's important to understand that you can check more stuff, okay? So here is the hard drive menu, you can format it, and here is, there is a advanced uh, menu, but this is more related to the recording per camera, the coda, things like that, okay? You're not gonna check this one, you don't need to check this one. So you come back here and you go to maintenance, that's important, okay? Here in maintenance, you have this hard drive detect. Then if you still have the abnormal hard drive uh, issue, you come here and you check the smart settings and also the bad sector detection, okay? And there's something else, okay? If you have your NVR or DVR recording, you can check this option to continue to use the this disk even if the self-evaluation is failed. So you don't stop recording, it's important. It's important to check if you have a bad uh, hard drive, you need to replace it, but it's also important to continue recording as long as you can. And then you can also check for errors and you can uh, let your NVR uh, warn you that you have error here as well. I'm gonna show you this in a while, okay? So just keep watching. And what you have to do here is to check this one and do the self-test. Here you have a short test or you have expanded test, a convenience test. So usually I do the short test first. So you click here in this mart and you see that starts the test. It comes, it goes from 0% to 100% doing a self-testing that's testing the smart settings, okay? You just need to wait a little bit, so it goes to 100%, and then you can also check the bad sector detection. So just, let's just wait here to finish, and then you come to bad sector detection. And here we go, 90%, almost there, and self-test succeeded, okay? So that was the short test. I have self-evaluation pass, so it's working pretty fine. And something else that's important, bad sector detection. So you have different ways to detection the bad sectors here. You see here that you have the different status, okay? You want to check that everything is normal. That's pretty important. So you need to check that everything is green. I was testing before, as you can see here, I have different green dots. And if you do the full detection, that will take a long, long time, okay? It's best start with the key area detection. So you select here and then you just hit detect. And you see that's going to check every single sector. And it's going, it's going to mark here 
as normal. If you have everything normal, you're going to see everything here is green. Okay. And if you have something like in red, for example, that's damaged, then you need to replace your hard drive or you can also leave like that, right? With just few of them damaged, but it's better to have everything on green. I, I suggest replacing if you have everything here, uh, if you have at least one red, yeah, I su suggest to replace it, right? But let's wait for a while so you can see that finishes the test. All right, so everything here is green, everything is good, okay? And later, if you have time, you can also check the full detection. But remember, you need to have time available because this take, takes a while, okay? So at least it's working here, and it's pretty important that it's working. If it's not, if something is here, here is red, I suggest you again to replace it, right? And then um, something else that you can check is the alarms. So when you come back here, you can have on configuration exceptions. You can check here for hard drive when the hard drive is full. You can check for audible warning. So it's going to beep and you hear the beep with the, to let you know that uh, something is wrong or meaning the hard drive is full. You can also send an email to yourself and you can have the surveillance center receiving the message if you're using a surveillance center software, right? You can do this for the hard drive uh, full and hard drive error as well. Okay, it's up to you to check here so you can receive the message either by listening to the beep or sending or receiving an email that the universe is going to send to you. Okay, pretty important. And then you can also come back here and on this part of recording, you can check here the parameters in advance it here overwrite. Just make sure that you have your hard drive set here to overwrite. So it's going to overwrite the last video, the oldest video, and we will always have the videos recorded. Okay, so it's pretty important to check this one to make sure that you always have the footage recorded. So pretty good. Let me just exit here. You see that I have my image. Let's just take a look if I have some playback. Here we go. I do have some footage recorded here. As you can see, it's recording by normal operation. And if I check here, I have recording here during some time, okay, during my tests. So even if you're testing the bad sectors and doing the smart test, the NVR still keeps recording, the NVR or DVR, okay? So it doesn't matter, right? So if you have this abnormal hard drive issue, you can just test that way. And also it's going to stop like sounding uh, the alarm, the beep that you hear all, all the time, because now the hard drive is good to go. You're not gonna have those alarm, those beeping sounding anymore. Okay, so pretty good. So if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.